seven. Red Wolves lead. They had the lead for most of the first half. Shot just under 43%, 12 of 28 shooting. They were three of four from downtown with Marcus Hooten hitting all three threes for the Red Wolves. Nine of 13 of the foul line for John Brady's club. FAU made 10 of 29 shots, 34 and a half percent. Three of nine downtown, four of four at the foul line. Rebounds went to the Wolves by a 21-18 margin. The leading scorer was Hooten with 13. Leading for FAU was Dennis, uh, Jordan McCoy and Greg Gant each with six, with six points. Ball turned over by FAU on their first possession. And it's Arkansas State basketball moving right to left. Ed Townsell. Stutter steps all the way up the floor. Townsell brings it between the circles. In the first half, Townsell, four points, one assist. Trey Finn sends it inside. Head fake by Malcolm Kirkland. Right hand hook shot, good over top of the defender, Corey White. Malcolm Kirkland with, with eight points. Hitting four of eight shots. Red Wolves strike first in the second half. Lead by 11, 38-27. Here's a long two from the left side. White missed it in and out. Finn with a rebound for A-State. They're down the floor quickly. Hooten passed up a three. Works his way into the lane. Right hand scoop shot good for Marcus Hooten. And that gives Hooten 15 to lead all scores. And the Red Wolves have opened up a 13-point lead. 40-27 A-State. Here's Alex Tucker driving. Kick out to White. Baseline fakes the jumper. One jump step to the rack and he banks it in this time. Corey White, six points. FAU's first basket of the half, 40-29. ASU leads by 11. We played a minute 30. Here are the reset. Near midcourt, Townsell through the legs with a dribble. Bounces it off to Hooten. Back to Townsell. Kirkland calls for it on the right elbow, but it comes to the left side instead. Hooten knocks a defender down. Tucker stays with him. Hooten lobs it deep. Peterson with one dribble. Ball swatted away from behind by Jordan McCoy. FAU with a basketball. Here's Tucker. For the left elbow, he'll back it out. ASU leads by 11, 40-29. Two minutes to play, two minutes that we've played here in the second half. There's Maven, pressured at the left elbow, gets it back to Gant. Gant had a very quiet first half with just six points. A little leaner from the left block. Maven, too short, rebound Peterson of ASU. That's his team leading sixth board. And Townsville crosses over half court for the Red Wolves. An 11 point Red Wolf lead, 40 29. There's Hooten on the left side. Zings it for Townsell, goes to Trey Finn on the right wing. Hooten comes around a screen, catches and shoots at the foul line. Swish! Marcus Hooten, the hot hand. Hooten's got 16. Pardon me, a 17 for Hooten. He's only missed one shot today from the field. 42 29, A State with the lead. Nearly 17 minutes to play here in the second half. Maven gets a three to Gant. That's short, way too short. Townsell skies for the rebound, and it's pushed by Townsell over half court. Slows down to the right elbow, feeds the lane, but an intercepted pass there by Corey White. He slipped around Kirkland and has the steal for FAU. Maven in the lane, brought it out. It'll go to Tucker. Left side, now the entry pass inside for Corey White. White spins down low over Kirkland, shoots off the side of the glass. Finn the rebound for A-State. Finn, crossover to get to the right side of the rack. He lays it off the glass. Trey Finn, his first field goal. And ASU has taken firm control of the game since halftime. And the Owls call a timeout, which will send us to a break. 16-25 to play. A-State 44, FAU 29 here in the first round of the men's Sun Belt Basketball Championships in Hot Springs, Arkansas.
8-2 run for Arkansas State at the outset of the second half. Red Wolves had a nine-point lead going into the locker room, and they've now opened up a 13-15-point uh, cushion, 44-29. Arkansas State, 16-25 to play in the second half. Mike Jarvis had to slow down the Red Wolves' charge by calling a timeout. Going to leave FAU with three timeouts. Arkansas State has four timeouts remaining. Neither team with a foul since the halftime reset. Arkansas State keeps a defender in the backcourt. Ed Townsell will allow the ball to be inbounded, and Townsell watches Dennis Maven bring it up. He uses a screen to slip the defender, and Maven crosses half court easily. FAU shooting 32.4% so far, 11 of 34 from the field. Arkansas State 48.5%. Deep shot good from the left side by Shavar Richardson. For Richardson, it gives him his first points today. 44-31, ASU by 13. Across the 16-minute mark, here's Finn for the Red Wolves. Spins to Kirkland on the baseline, back to Finn. Reverse side, far side now, Hooten. Finds Kirkland of the foul line, spins. A little too far in with a dribble, comes back to Townsville. Ten to shoot for the Red Wolves. Peterson screens for Hooten. Deep three is a little short. Wouldn't get the bounce. Rebound by Jordan McCoy. He finds Dennis Maven, who draws a foul, I believe, before the shot. He makes the shot, but it will not count. Fouls on Ed Townsville, and it happened on the floor. First foul of the half on either squad sends us to another break. 15.30 to play, ASU 44, Florida Atlantic 31. You're in the first round of the Sunbelt Men's Basketball Championships in Hot Springs National Park. Geico, a proud corporate partner of the Sunbelt Conference. Fifteen thirty to play in the second half. First round matchup with Arkansas State and Florida Atlantic. ASU has a firm lead. 44-31 Red Wolves. Red Wolves are led by Marcus Hooten, the junior shooting guard from Jackson, Mississippi, with a game high 17. In fact, he's the only scorer with more than eight points thus far. Three ball by Shavar Richardson is too strong. Another rebound from Malcolm Kirkland, his fifth of the game. Peterson down the floor, lays it up, and it almost fell in. Rims out, but that'll be a two-shot foul for Peterson. Second foul on FAU. This half, it's on Shavar Richardson. Harvey first foul this half on FAU. Peterson at the line for a pair. He's two of three today. Shot 65% for the year from the foul line. First shot for Peterson is up, and it is good. That gives Peterson nine points. One more put Peterson in double figures, making him just the second player to reach 10.
Peterson three of four at the stripe. Second shot up, and it is in and out. No good. Bertoni the rebound for FAU. It's a 14-point lead for Arkansas State, 45-31. 15 to play here in the second half of the Convention Center court. Winner of this game gets Middle Tennessee tomorrow at 6. Dennis Maven brings it to the right side. And Towns will try to force him to the middle. He does take the middle route, floats it up from about 5 feet. Maven cans that one. Maven with 6, makes it 45-33. A-State by a dozen. 14-33 to play in the second half. Townsville. Into the man-to-man -man defense. Townsville off the dribble. Peterson screens for him. Townsville to the left side. Back to Peterson at the top. To the corner now. Trey Finn fakes the jump pass. He drives into the triple team. Missed it. Rebound. Put back. Off the rim. No. Kirkland fights for that. Kirkland puts it on the floor. Kirkland is fouled on the way up. There are about four owls right in there. All in the paint. None of them could come away with a basketball. Foul looks like it goes on Shavar Richardson. It'll be his second, second of the Owls here in the second half. Kirkland at the line for a pair. Senior from Jackson, Mississippi, a 68% foul shooter for the year. He's got eight points today, plus six rebounds. The first shot up, and it is no good wide right. Still a 12-point lead for Arkansas State. As the Owls make a change down low, Corey White substitutes in for Andre Madison. White with six points. Showing a little bit of range today, but he's only two of six from the field. Kirkland gets a second shot. There it goes. It's good. Malcolm Kirkland with nine points. And the score is 46-33. A-State by Baker's dozen. 14 to play second half. Crossing half court. Dennis Maven kicks it again to, Ray, to a Shavar Richardson. Back it comes now to Bertoni near midcourt. Off to Richardson, works his way to the elbow, catch and shoot three, Bertoni, too strong. Long rebound, Bertoni tips it out. It's recovered by Townsville, leads the charge. Catch and shoot three by Finn, off the back of the iron, no good. But Jacob, but Peterson follows that shot, and ASU get a second look. Rebound for Peterson, his sixth. ASU plus seven of a rebounding margin, 28-21. And now the Red Wolves, a three would give them. A 16-point lead, Peterson on the left block. Got the defender in the air and draws another foul. Peterson back to the line for two more. And they call the foul on uh, Corey White, who just came out off the bench. That's his second foul, team's third. Peterson back of the line. He was one of two a moment ago, and Peterson's three of five from the stripe today. Nine points thus far. Peterson's shot gives him 10. And Peterson is the second player in double figures today. Change in the lineup for FAU. Alex Tucker replaces Dennis Maven. Dickerson checked in for ASU. Brandon Peterson's second foul shot. Nothing but net. He's got 11. And the Red Wolves lead 48 to 33. 13 minutes, 15 seconds to play in the second half. There's Bertoni on the left side. Bertoni thus far been pretty quiet. Five points. Here's the drive by Tucker. Contact before Tucker could get inside the arc. Second foul on, pardon me, fourth foul on FAU. Here in the second, second half. That's Dickerson picking up the foul for the Red Wolves, his first, second on the Red Wolves. Kirkland leaves the floor for the time being. Griswold back in. Griswold, the freshman. Richardson hit the deck on the inbound pass. Looks like another foul on Arkansas State. This one looks like it's on Trey Finn. On the Red Wolves, 24. Not Trey Finn, that's on Townsville. Second Townsville's team second team. foul, third on the Red Wolves. Baseline inbound. I was a little trouble getting it in to the corner for three. Richardson makes the Shavar shot and was fouled. For three. Shavar Richardson with the third, a fourth three for Florida Atlantic. And this could be a big Townsville swing. Wolves, Edward Townsville's Townsville, third foul. 
fourth Red Wolves team. Fourth Red Wolf foul, so Townsville exits. Trey Finn checks in for him. Shavar Richardson with five points at the line here for his first free throw today. The free throw's up, it is good. A four-point play by Shavar Richardson brings his Owls with an 11. 48-37 A-State. We just crossed the 13-minute mark in the second half at the Convention Center Court here in Hot Springs. Dickerson and Finn play catch. Dickerson drives with the left hand. At the block, forced to kick it back to the top. Peterson zings to Finn on the right side. Finn takes a dribble. Off it comes to Hooten. Fakes the pass. Drives to the rack. Gets inside and banks it home. Marcus Hooten with 19 points. And a seven over his average. ASU by 13, 50-37. Coming on 12 minutes, 25 seconds to play. Catch and shoot, Shavar Richardson. That is no good. Rebound saved, and it's tipped out of bounds. And the ball will belong. Let's see here. They rule the ball goes back to Arkansas State. Now well, the officials will confer for a moment. And a double check on whether or not the shot clock should reset. That shot missed the rim. So it's FAU basketball, and they have 18 seconds to shoot. Richardson from the left bait from the left sideline. Comes out to Greg Gant. He remains quiet. Gant, only six points. Eight under his average. Fade away from the foul line is good. And it's Shavar Richardson who connects again. Richardson with eight. The lead for Arkansas State is back to 11. 50-39, 11.55 to play. Peterson off Griswold's pass, draws a double team on the block, spins out of it and connects with a right-hand hook. Brandon Peterson with the nice little jump hook. Gives him 13. Peterson's the second leading scorer today. He's already four points over his average. Ball knocked away. It's a turnover committed by FAU. And it will be Arkansas State basketball after this break. 11.38 to play. A-State leading 52-39 over the Florida Atlantic Owls. Here in the first round of the Sun Belt Men's Basketball Championships from Hot Springs, Arkansas. Seven thirty-eight to play in the second half here in the Convention Center Court. Arkansas State looking to advance to the second round against Middle Tennessee. The Red Wolves done a great job keeping FAU at an arm's length or further. And the lead's 13 for the Red Wolves, 52-39. Rakeem Dickerson now running point for John Brady's ball club. FAU trying to pressure the ball to the perimeter as Dickerson picks it up. Sends it to Adam Sterenberg, and he enters the pass inside. Griswold over the rim, no good. Rebound by Jordan McCoy of FAU. Here's Alex Tucker for the Owls. Hands it off to Richardson. Griswold comes out to help. And a turnover. The ball's intercepted. Dickerson trying to drive coast to coast. Tough shot. He's hacked hard. Richardson will send him to the line. Shavar Richardson's third foul. ASU's fourth. And two free throws for 
Arkansas State freshman guard Rakeem Dickerson nearby Little Rock. That is his third personal foul. Dickerson averaging three points a game, an outstanding foul shooter at 86%. Dickerson is two of three at the line today. His foul shot is too strong, no good. Arkansas State have taken 15 more free throws than FAU, 20 to five. With 13 of 20 from the line. Dickerson second shot, no good. Griswold the rebound. Griswold sends it right out for Sterenberg and a reset here for A-State. 11 minutes to play, A-State by 13. Sterenberg pressured by Richardson, keeps the dribble and he's knocked aside and fouled by Jordan McCoy. Will pick up his third personal, that's FAU's fifth. Changing both lineups, Kirkland checks in for ASU. For Tony for Florida Atlantic. And for Arkansas State number 33, Malcolm Kirkland. Townsville on the inbound, comes to Dickerson. Now back to Townsville on the left wing. Townsville dribbles it up top against a couple of defenders, zings it off for Sterenberg. Into the corner, Kirkland long two, short. Another rebound tipped way out. And in midcourt, Sterenberg catches that one for A-State. They'll get a third look. There's Kirkland between the circles. Sterenberg right side, looking in low. Townsville around a screen, couldn't get it to him. He sends it off to Dickerson on the left side. Griswold reverses field. Right wing, now to the top. Dickerson spots for a three. It is up at his wide right. Rebound loose in the paint and recovered by Greg Gant of FAU. Alex Tucker near midcourt. Looks for the bounce pass to the left side, but it's kicked away. And it will remain in the hands of FAU. With 10 minutes and 10 seconds left. Arkansas State leading 52-39. Dennis Maven back in the game. He replaces Tucker. Maven on the baseline inbound. Catch and shoot. Deep three by Gant. That is no good. Gant having big time troubles today. Two of eight shooting. And still just six points. Gant has had a scoreless second half in 10 minutes. 52 39. A state. 9.55 to play. Dickerson in front of John Brady. Sends it inside for Kirkland, squares up. Now back in a bit with that left hand. Overpowers one defender, goes up for the shot and draws the foul. Malcolm Kirkland is having his way in the lane. He goes back to the line for a couple of free throws. Kirkland looks to become the third player in double figures. Fouls on Andre Madison. First foul on the Owls, six foot seven inch forward. That's their sixth. Kirkland. A 68% foul shooter, cans the first, puts A-State on top by 14. A-State has now outscored Florida Atlantic by nine points of the free throw line. Kirkland will make it plus 10 to the foul line for Arkansas State. 15 to five is the edge on foul shots made in favor of Arkansas State. 54-39, Red Wolves lead, coming on 9.35 to play. Between the circles, Maven. Fake left, dribbled right, hands it off to Greg Gant. FAU trying to get Gant a few more shots now as Pablo Bertoni using Gant as a screen. Ten to shoot for the Owls. Double team Bertoni able to find Madison for a mid range J. That's in and out. Kirkland has another rebound, his seventh. Soft outlet to Dickerson. He waits for FAU to drop back. 9.05 to go. The lead's 15 for Arkansas State, 54-39 over the Owls of Florida Atlantic. There's Sterenberg, he'll find Griswold at the top. Off it goes to Dickerson, back to Griswold on the give and go, missed the bunny. Rebound, Madison of FAU. Here comes Maven quickly. Maven crosses over, gets into the lane, and draws the foul before the shot. That'll be a foul on Rakeem Dickerson. It'll be his second, ASU's fifth. And John Brady makes three changes. He'll go with a couple of his starters now. Alex Tucker, pardon me, that's a Marcus Hooten back in. Along with Brandon Peterson and Trey Finn. 15-point lead for ASU. Here's Shavar Richardson around the screen, but a foul called before he got his shot up in the air. 
Andre Madison hit the deck. He was pushed aside. Sixth Red Wolf foul here in the second half. And Trey Finn charged with his second today. Baseline inbound comes way up top for Madison. He'll hand it to Pablo Bertoni. Owls trail by 15. Here's Maven. Spins to the lane. Gets a shot off the glass. Too strong. Rebound Madison. Madison got tangled up. Goes back up and it's blocked. Over to the corner. Recovered again by Dennis Maven. There's a fresh shot clock for the Owls. And they can calm down for a moment. Richardson. Here's Maven again. Crossover, pull up, floater off the glass, no good, but Maven drew the foul. Dennis goes to the line for two. Maven trying to take matters into his own hands. He's one of four uh, FAU players, pardon me, five FAU players with six or more points. Nobody has double figures, however, for the Owls. That foul picked up by Rakeem Dickerson, his third. Seven fouls on the Red Wolves, and the foul shot by Maven is good. Maven seventh point today. 55% foul shooter for the season. FAU is six of six of the stripe, but they've been outscored to the foul line by nine, and the second foul shot is good, so now they've been outscored by eight at the free throw line. A 13 point lead for ASU, 54-41. Got a foul on a screen. Peterson knocked down one of the Owls, and it looked like he reached out and grabbed him. It'll be a technical foul on Florida Atlantic. And it was Dennis Maven who showed a little frustration. Peterson screened Maven on the backcourt, allowing Rakeem Dickerson to dribble it up. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw Maven reach out and give him a shove. The official saw that. And Maven certainly seemed to know it. He brought all of his teammates into the backcourt, and they'll survey the scene as Trey Finn will head to the foul line for a couple of technical free throws. So the foul on Dennis Maven is his second foul. It is also team foul number seven on FAU. Finn's at the line for a pair. First one's good. Trey's had a rough game shooting from the field, but he's three of three at the stripe. His five points for the day. Finn gets a second shot. And the free throw is good. And the lead's back to 15 for Arkansas State, 56-41. Even pulled by Mike Jarvis during those foul shots. Jarvis gave him a little talking to as Dickerson crosses half court for A State. To the right side, Tucker. And it's Dickerson on the left wing. Up top for Finn, drives through a couple of defenders. He was fouled before the shot. Fourth foul on Shavar Richardson. Team's eight. Finn to the line for one and one after the break. 7.53 to play. Red Wolves by 15. Arkansas State 56. Florida Atlantic 41 here in the first round of the Men's Sun Belt Basketball Championships in Hot Springs National Park.
A-State with a 20 to 14 margin here in the second half. And the Red Wolves lead 56 to 41 with seven minutes and 53 seconds remaining here in the convention center court. Trey Finn at the line for one and one bonus shots. And the Red Wolves have outscored the Owls at the foul line 18 to seven. Following that made free throw by Finn. Finn is five of five at the stripe. Seven points today. The fourth leading scorer for John Brady's club. They're led by Marcus Hooten as 19. Finn second shot, got the bounce. And a lead 17 for the Red Wolves, 58-41. ASU is at a double-digit lead for virtually the entire second half. There's a nine-point lead at the break, 36-27. Now it's 58-41 ASU. Pull-up jumper from the baseline by Shavar Richardson won't go. Trey Finn pulls the rebound away. ASU also has the rebounding edge, 34-27. Finn, one of the shorter players on the court, is the leading rebounder with eight. Here's Dickerson, lobs it down low. Kirkland tips the pass, catches underneath. His shot's blocked, gets it back. He put it a little too floor, down closer to the floor and got tangled up with one of the FAU guards. Officials rule the play dead, and I haven't quite figured out what the call is. There's no foul here. It'll be ASU basketball. They called it a held ball. Possession error favored the Red Wolves. Fresh shot clock, though, for the Red Wolves. Dickerson backs it out. Coming close to seven minutes left. The Red Wolves lead 58-41. John Time Brady calls a timeout. This will be a 30 second. Coach Brady uses a 30-second T.O. as Mike Jarvis comes onto the court to complain with one of the officials about a little, as they would call it, extracurricular activities with uh, Richardson of FAU getting tangled up with one of the ASU players. This is the only game on the convention center court this evening, and that is due to ULM not being included in this year's Sunbelt Men's Championship. So uh, this year there are five schools that got buys into the second round. Louisiana Lafayette and North Texas are the beneficiaries of ULM's problem-making grades. The Cajuns and the Mean Green tomorrow at 6.15 on this floor. The winner of this FAU Arkansas State game gets Middle Tennessee tomorrow. Right now it's 315 left in the second half on the Summit Arena floor. South Alabama leading Troy 73-68. The winner of that game gets Denver. And second seeded UALR plays the winner of Western Kentucky FIU. The game will be tipping off later tonight at 8.30. Ball rolls out of bounds here. It'll stay in the ASU Red Wolves hands. 12 on the shot clock. 58-41 score. Red Wolves lead. 653 left. Finn catches. Brings it into the lane and got hammered. Finn back to the line. For two more shots where Trey is a perfect six of six. Fouls on FAU's number five, Alex Tucker. His first. Alex Tucker has the foul, his first, team's ninth. Again at the line for Arkansas State, number two, Trey Finn. ASU is 19 of 27 from the stripe, 70.4%, and Finn's first shot hits nothing but net. Trey Finn, one point away from reaching double figures. Seven at the foul line. And the free throw goes up, hits the rim, got the bounce. 60 to 41 ASU by 19. Arkansas State's largest lead is the current lead, 19. 6.44 to play and FAU is wilting. Finn goes for the steal, allows daylight for Tucker as he drives and draws a foul. And we'll send Alex Tucker to the line for a pair. Fouls on the Red Wolves, number 33, Malcolm Kirkland. Malcolm Kirkland picks up the second team's five. eighth. At the line for FAU, number five, Alex Tucker. Two-shot foul for Alex Tucker. First shot's up, it's off the back of the iron. Tucker has only a couple of points, and they came to the foul line earlier tonight. Tucker is 67% foul shooter. And after the first miss from the foul line for FAU, Tucker cans the second shot. 
Mike Jarvis brings his club over for a timeout. Timeout FAU. This will be a 30-second timeout. They always have two timeouts remaining. ASU has three timeouts. There's six minutes and 39 seconds to play, and what can Mike Jarvis tell his club right now? The Red Wolf, pardon me, FAU this year. So the numbers showing that this is a club that usually takes pretty good care of the basketball. They rebound halfway decent. They're just not a good shooting club. FAU shot 41.5% for the season, and they're in the low 30s today. 15 of 46, that's a percentage of 32.6 from the field. Now, A State isn't doing much better, but it seems the difference more than anything else, the foul shots. A State is plus 13 on free throws. 29 made free throws by the Red Wolves, only eight for Florida Atlantic. Difference of 19 fouls on the Owls, only 12 on the Red Wolves. Owls pressure near midcourt. Dickerson throws over the line to Marcus Hooten, and he's able to get it back to Dickerson for the reset. 23 to shoot for the Red Wolves. Dickerson makes his move, uses Peterson as a screen, bounces it back to Peterson, and he had a three if he wanted it, and Peterson pulls it down instead. He only attempted three all year. Peterson on the right side with 10 to shoot. Looks to send it inside. We got a little tangled up with his own arm, and he turns it over. Here's Maven with a basketball, looks down low. Calvin Penn catches that one in traffic, and it comes out to Richardson in the corner. Maven, crossover move, tries to bank it in with one hand. Nice move by Dennis Maven. He's the first owl in double figures. Ten points for Maven, and it's 60-44. to 44. Red Wolves lead by 16. 5.48 to play. Dickerson dribbles over half court. Will be watched by Richardson. Trey Finn to the right. Peterson setting the screen down low. Marcus Hooten comes for the ball, catches on the left elbow, brings it to the paint, shoots it, swatted back in his face, recovered by Richardson. Richardson leads the charge, finds Maven. Maven missed the gimme. Bertoni has the rebound, tries to reverse the layup, but he misses. And this time, Brandon Peterson pulls the rebound away. That would have been a big two points if the Owls could have connected. ASU still leads by 16, and it's Red Wolves basketball. Dickerson down the middle, kick out. Hooten works his way to the lane. Back out for Trey Finn, and Finn slows it down. Uses Peterson as a screen. He gets tripped up, and Finn hits the deck hard. Corey White might have tripped him up. It looks like the call the foul on White, his third. Team's 10. Finn's at the line for a pair of foul shots. Boy, Finn hit the deck awfully hard. Looked like he might have hit his chin. Well, condensation toweled up by at the, line, number the two, FAU Finn. staff, and Finn goes back to the line where he's perfect today, eight for eight. Finn might come down to 10 points here, the foul line already, and the first shot's good. That gives Finn 11 and nine from the strike. Returning for FAU, number 21, Jordan McCoy. Jordan McCoy checks back in for FAU. McCoy has six points, tied with Three teammates for third for FAU. And they're led by Dennis Maven with 10. Richardson has eight. Second foul shot, no good. First miss for Finn from the foul line. Now Bertoni gives it back to Richardson. He shoots a three and Shabar connects from deep. Richardson, Big three. three by Shabar Richardson. Gives him 11. He's now the leading scorer for FAU. ASU's lead is 61-47. Still very comfortable. 14-point lead with 4.40 to play, but they'll turn it over. Bad pass from half court, intercepted. Maven from the right block, hangs in the air, missed it, but the putback by White is a flush. White slams it on the putback, that'll give him eight. And ASU has their lead cut down to 12 as John Brady uses another timeout. Arkansas State 61, Florida Atlantic 49, this one not over yet. ASU had a 20-point lead, but FAU has streaked back into the game. Each team has two timeouts left. There have been 10 fouls called on Florida Atlantic, eight fouls on Arkansas State, and the possession arrow favoring Florida Atlantic. A-State's five, the first on of the court. It'll be Kirkland, Peterson, Marcus Hooten, 
Ed Townsville and Trey Finn. For FAU, Bertoni, Richardson, White, McCoy, and Maven. Four minutes, 30 seconds left. A 12-point A-State lead, and now the Red Wolves will face full-court pressure. Inbound goes to Trey Finn, or Townsville. Townsville sends it back to Finn. Finn picked it up. Townsville at midcourt, crosses the half-court line with one second to spare, but he gets in traffic, gets tied up. He turtles with the basketball, try to call a timeout, but the official said jump ball first. FAU basketball. The possession over favoring Florida Atlantic, and now FAU has a chance to get within 10. A three-pointer by an owl would get FAU within single digits. There's Bertoni on the right side for Florida Atlantic. Hands it to Dennis Maven. He's got 10, second for the Owls. Richardson, their leading score with 11. Offensive foul, though. A little push as Bertoni cut through the middle of the lane, through the elbow, and that's his second foul. Big turnover. Florida Seventh Florida Atlantic turnover, and it comes as they were trying to get back to within 10 points. Mike Jarvis keeps Bertoni on the court. And uh, pardon me, they called the foul on White. For a moment, it looked like they called it on 25 Bertoni. Instead, it's Corey White who fouls out. White's finished. Corey White leaves the game with eight points and three rebounds. He was the third leading scorer for Florida Atlantic, and that's a body blow. Trey Finn sends it to Townsville at midcourt. Throws it over the line to Marcus Hooten. Hooten has 19, drives, kick out. Townsville fake the three. Trying to split the defense. Goes back to Hooten. Sends it inside. Malcolm Kirkland gets a defender in the air. Nice footwork to draw the foul. And Kirkland will shoot two free throws after this break. Three minutes, 43 seconds to play in the second half. Arkansas State leads by 12. Red Wolves 61. And the Owls 49 here in the first round of the Sun Belt Men's Basketball Championships in Hot Springs, Arkansas. That help athletic champions and their fans tell their stories and celebrate their achievements. Justin's is the proud and official championship ring provider of the Sunbelt Conference. Three forty-three to play, second half. FAU trying to get back into the ball game, but a big offensive foul on Corey White. Turn it over now. Malcolm Kirkland goes to the line for two. Kirkland has played a very solid game: eleven points, nine rebounds. He's three of four at the foul line, and Kirkland gets a couple of shots right here. Red Wolves lead by twelve. Sixty-one to forty-nine. Three minutes, forty-three seconds left. As Kirkland bends the knee, sends up the free throw, and it is too strong. Off the back of the iron, no good. Foul shots, the big difference today. A-State has taken 32, made 22 of them. FAU's taken only nine, they've made eight. Kirkland's second shot, good, that gives him a dozen. 
And it's a 13-point lead for Arkansas State, 62 to 49. FAU rolls it to half court where it's fielded by Maven. Hands it off to Alex Tucker. Tucker drives down the left side. Underneath he goes. Sends a kick out to the top. And a three ball by Richardson. Air ball caught by Hooten. And Hooten will bring it up. The air ball chance come to life as Richardson missed everything. Townsville bumped over the half court line. No whistle. 3.20 to play. Red Wolves lead by 13. Trying to get on the... Into the second round tomorrow against Middle Tennessee. Hooten looking across the 20 mark. He's got 19. Bertoni forces him out. He lobs it inside. It is caught by Peterson. Finds Finn. He'll dump it off. Kirkland underneath draws the foul and makes the gimme. Great ball movement by the Red Wolves. Trey Finn had a little five-foot floater if he wanted it, but he handed it off to Kirkland. And Kirkland with that wonderful jump step. He got Tucker in the air. Second foul on Tucker. Kirkland now has 14. And ASU has jumped on top by 15. Kirkland's foul shot makes it a 16-point game. 65-49, Arkansas State, three minutes left. FAU needs some quick points. Maven brings it inside of the paint, throws it way off the glass. No good. Maven got his own rebound, and this time he banks it back in. Maven has 12. Needed a second look, 65-51, A-State by 14. Two minutes, 40 seconds left, inbound to Peterson, throws it to the middle. Here comes Hooten cutting down the lane, throws it off the glass, and he has 21. Marcus Hooten. Marcus Hooten, 21 points for the junior from Jackson, Mississippi. A 67-51 lead for A-State. Two minutes, 22 seconds left. For Tony, catch and shoot three. That scrapes the iron. Peterson, another rebound, his eighth. Outlet to the right side where Trey Finn slows it down. Now to Marcus Hooten in the middle. There's two minutes and eight seconds left. And Arkansas State leads by 16. Mike Jarvis not asking his players to foul. Edward Townsell. Left side, Marcus Hooten has had a splendid game. 21 points on 8 of 11 shooting plus 5 rebounds. Hooten to pull up 3. That is no good. A little strong. Looked like he was close, though. Shavar Richards in the rebound. Outlets to Bertoni. Works his way inside. Nice pass down low. Laid up by McCoy. 67-53. A 14-point lead for the Red Wolves with 90 seconds left. FAU still not fouling. Townsville dribbling against soft pressure. Double team near midcourt. Ball knocked away. Now a foul. Now they got it for 10 seconds in the backcourt. Townsville took too long. With a minute 23 to play, it's FAU's ball trailing A-State by 14. ASU makes a change in the lineup. Rakeem Dickerson replaces Townsville after that 10-second call. John Brady looks furious. Dennis Maven crosses the half-court line. Screen to the top. Maven goes the other way. Finds Bertoni. Baseline drive. Misses the dunk. And Bertoni fouls Trey Finn on the rebound. Pablo Bertoni went up with one hand. He had enough. He had enough sky. He misses the one hand dunk and then fouls the man on the way down. How about that? That's kind of the story today for Florida Atlantic. Bertoni's third foul. Finn back to the line for two. Trey Finn is 9 of 10 from the free throw line. His shot goes up. It is good. Big difference in fouls. Big difference in foul shots today. Red Wolves have been called for only 12 fouls. Florida Atlantic has been called for 24. And as Trey Finn's second foul shot is no good, he steals it on the outlet, and Finn misses the layup underneath. 65 seconds left. ASU still leads by a 68-53 ball game shot, swatted away by Kirkland. ASU has a three-on-one break. Finn on the left side, passes up the three. A-State chooses to use up some clock, and the Jonesboro fans rise to their feet here in the convention center court. Dickerson 
Well, the shot clock down to 16. Dickerson sends it down low. Malcolm Kirkland dribbles inside. He got tied up with a defender, and it rolls out of bounds. Ball will belong to Arkansas State with eight seconds to shoot. Here comes Middle Tennessee onto the court. They've been watching this game from the stands. They'll be playing A-State tomorrow. A 6 p.m. tip-off down the hall at the Summit Arena floor. Hooten draws a foul. And Marcus Hooten will go to the line with a chance to increase his point total to 23. That is the fifth foul on Shabar Richardson and the senior guard out of Brooklyn, New York, playing his last collegiate game, is fouled out. Richardson leaves with 11 points, four rebounds. Hooten gets two free throws. And on a day where Arkansas State has outscored FAU 25 to 8 of the foul line, their leading scorer, Hooten, has only two points at the line. 21 today. He scored nine from behind the arc, two in the free throw line, and uh, the other points have come from inside the arc. Hooten has had a spectacular day. FAU substitution number two, Raymond Taylor. Raymond Taylor checks in. He hasn't seen many minutes since the first half. Hooten gets the ball as his. Four Arkansas State teammates drop back near midcourt. And foul shot's good. Gives Hooten 22. Marcus Hooten, second shot good. 70-53, Arkansas State. With a third game in a uh, fourth out of five games that A-State cracks 70. 17 seconds left. Dickerson dribbles in front of his bench. Sends it to Trey Finn. And A-State will dribble out the last few seconds. The first round matchup is finished here in the convention center court. And the final score, Arkansas State 70, Florida Atlantic 55. Coach Brady and Coach Jarvis meet as they shake hands. The Red Wolves move to the second round with a victory today. They'll take on Middle Tennessee at 6 tomorrow. Arkansas.